Your new 7 Series is a product of BMW's unfaltering commitment to excellence and passionate enthusiasm for driving. With its exhilarating power, effortless response, sumptuous comfort, and innovative safety technologies, the 7 Series represents the pinnacle of BMW luxury performance achievement. This video and the quick check guide that comes with it have been prepared to help you derive the most pleasure, safety, and reliability from your car. To find a particular section in the video, simply look it up in the quick check guide. The time code provided will make it easy for you to quickly find the correct section in the tape. Advanced Security The security systems in your new 7 Series are highly advanced in order to help protect you, your passengers, and your vehicle. Your BMW is equipped with coded drive-away protection, a sophisticated key and lock system that can make theft more difficult. In its first year, this unique BMW system was associated with an 80% decrease in theft losses. The key is equipped with a tiny transponder, which stores a random electronic code transmitted by an antenna in the ignition switch. Each time the car is started, this random code is changed. The next time the car can only be started if the key matches the new code. You will have received a set of keys consisting of a master key, a duplicate key, a valet key, and a spare to be kept in a safe place. The valet key may be used to open the doors and turn on the ignition, but it cannot be used to unlock the trunk or glove compartment. The microprocessor technology in your new vehicle enables you to store certain preferences in the car's memory, and some of these are specific to each remote control key. When you open the door of your BMW after unlocking it with one of the remote control master keys, the key memory can reset the driver's seat and climate control to the positions they were in the last time that particular remote was used. Colored decals are provided to help you identify the remotes. Each key's user can make several choices and your BMW center will enter these preferences into key memory. For example, having the vehicle lock automatically once it's in motion, and choosing to unlock all the doors at once instead of just the driver's door first. The car memory allows you to store several more security preferences, which apply regardless of which key is used. If you prefer, you can have the daytime running lights come on whenever the ignition is started, and you can have the exterior lights flash when the alarm system is armed. The choice is yours. Your new vehicle incorporates pathway lighting. To activate, simply pull the headlamp flasher turn indicator stock toward you after turning off the car. The headlights and interior lights will come on for added security as you leave your car and will go out automatically after 40 seconds. Let's begin with the key head remote. It can be operated at a distance up to 50 feet and you don't have to have the car in your sight at the time. There are three buttons on the remote unlock, lock, and trunk. To unlock only the driver's door, the fuel filler door, and disarm the security system, press the unlock button. To unlock the rest of the doors and the trunk, press this button a second time. If on a hot day you want to open the windows and sunroof before getting in, simply hold down the unlock button on the remote after you've pressed it. In a second or two, the windows and the sunroof will start to open. Continue to hold the button down. You may prefer to use the key instead of the remote. To unlock only the driver's door and fuel filler door, insert the key fully into the lock and turn it once to the left. Turn one more time in a counterclockwise direction and you'll release the locks on all the other doors and the trunk. Afterward, return the key to the vertical position to remove it. To lock the car with the remote, press the round button that looks like the BMW logo. With the key, simply make one turn to the right. Never lock the car with the key or remote if someone plans to stay in the car. Instead, have them use the inside lock button located here on the center console. If somebody opens any one of the doors from the inside, the others stay locked. The fuel filler door remains unlocked when this button is activated so that you may wait in the car with a greater feeling of security while an attendant fills the gas tank. When the car is locked, you can turn on the interior lights by pressing the lock button. This can help you locate your car in a parking lot at night. To open the trunk, press the trunk button 
on the remote. Or press the release button under the instrument panel on the left side. Or if the trunk isn't locked, just push in the lock. If the car is locked, using the trunk button on the remote or the release switch won't unlock the doors. And the trunk will lock again automatically when the lid closes. When you close the trunk, there's no need to use a lot of force. Just close it gently and it'll be drawn down electrically. Another useful security feature is the car's panic alarm, which you can activate intentionally by pressing and holding down the trunk button. It's easy to deactivate by pressing the unlock button. The security system on your new 7 series includes a motion detector and a tilt sensor. If you wish to turn off these functions, press the lock button two times in succession, or simply lock the car twice with the key. Your car is equipped with a built-in programmable universal transmitter, which you may use to conveniently replace up to three handheld transmitters for garage doors and gates. If your vehicle has optional BMW brake-resistant glass, avoid using harsh cleaners or solvents on inside window surfaces, and do not apply stickers to the inside of the window glass. Here's another feature which can be very useful. By turning the key clockwise and holding it in the lock, you can close the windows and the sunroof from outside the car. We've forgotten to close everything up. To implement a private four-digit security code, turn the key to the first position. Select Code from the onboard navigation system menu. Turn the knob to input the first digit in your personal code. Then press to confirm. Do this for all four digits. Then turn the ignition key to position zero and remove the key. Next time you want to start the car, turn the key to position one. Re-enter your private code. If you make an error, highlight change and press. Use the knob to confirm or correct each digit in the code once again. Then press to deactivate the security code. When code has been activated, the engine cannot be started. If the code is re-entered incorrectly three times, or there are three attempts to start the car without re-entering the code, an alarm will sound for 30 seconds. Follow the emergency deactivation procedure outlined in the owner's handbook. Driving Comfort Using a combination of computers and craftsmanship, BMW's designers imbued the 7 Series with dynamic lines and graceful elegance as a reflection of the car's personality. The exterior uh, only reflects a part of its, of its inner beauty. Uh, the interior plays a dramatic role in people's understanding of how wonderful this car is and therefore an acceptance of, of beauty with a capital B, not just pretty. Uh, pretty comes and goes. Beauty, true beauty remains over years and that's that's what we want to achieve and naturally it's not just inside the car behind the steering wheel it's under the hood it's in the trunk it's the unexpected moment when you come around the corner and you see your car in the parking lot because the car moved away next to it and now you can see it with this light on it like that did you well, I haven't seen it. Ooh. Ooh. the front seat adjustment buttons resemble the shape of the seat to modify the position of the seat grasp the large rectangular button Pushing it forward moves the seat closer to the wheel. Pulling it toward the rear moves the seat further back. The rear part of this large button controls the height of the seat. Lift with your fingers or push down with your thumb. The front of the rectangular button controls the tilt of the seat cushion. Lift to tilt away from the wheel and push to tilt the seat toward the wheel. The smaller button to the rear of the rectangular one controls the angle of the seat back and the height of the headrest. Twist the button in one direction to recline the seat and in the other to pull the seat back up straighter. Press down or push up from below to change the height of the headrest. You can vary the firmness and height of the lumbar support, providing comfort to the lower back area, especially on long drives. Press the forward arrow for firmer lumbar support. Press the rearward arrow for softer support. Press the higher arrow to move the lumbar support higher up the backrest. Press the lower arrow to move the lumbar support down. If your car is equipped with comfort seats, 
Use this rocker switch to control the angle of the upper portion of the backrest. If your 7 Series has active comfort seats, pressing this button can help reduce stiffness and fatigue by subtly exercising your spine and hip muscles. On the 750IL, when a rear seat belt is fastened, the corresponding headrest moves up automatically. The position of the headrest can then be modified with this button here. Rear seats are adjustable also. You can change the tilt of the backrest with this button here. Controls for lumbar support operate the same way as the front seat controls. If your car has electrically adjustable contour sport seats, press this button to adjust the thigh support. The center armrest contains three compartments. The middle tray may become the location for installation of the BMW integrated cellular telephone, and a release under the front moves the armrest back and forth. The rear armrest contains an ample storage compartment. Located just above the center of the back seat is another compartment, which contains a first aid kit. The backs of the front seats have storage space, and in the 740IL and 750IL, the rear doors have an additional covered storage compartment. The glove box contains a flashlight held in a charging socket, so it's always ready for use. Now let's adjust the mirrors for optimum vision. First, select either right or left mirror using the switch on the driver's door. Then move the round adjuster switch until the mirror is in the correct place. To perform the same adjustment on the other mirror, first move the switch to the other side. The right side mirror automatically tilts down when you select reverse gear to optimize rear vision, provided that this switch is in the driver's side mirror position. If the switch is in the passenger side mirror position, this function is turned off. The inside rear view mirror automatically darkens to reduce glare at night, but when you're reversing the car, the mirror will lighten up to give you greater vision. You'll find the stock for adjusting the steering wheel on the lower left. Push or pull to telescopically adjust the wheel. Move the stock up and down to modify its tilt. For added convenience, the steering wheel automatically tilts up and away when you're ready to exit the car. There's a memory system to capture three comprehensive settings for the seat, outside mirrors, and steering wheel. Once you've found the right positions for your individual comfort, store them in the car's memory. To do this, First, make sure that the key in the ignition is turned to the second position. Press the memory button located on the driver's door. The button will light up. Then press button 1, 2, or 3. To recall your personal setting after another driver has made changes, simply press the appropriate button when you open the door before getting into the car. The 7 Series has a high-performance automatic climate control system. Because a comfortable and alert driver is an important component of active driving safety. To turn on the system, use the switch marked with a fan. Separate temperature controls are provided for the driver and front passenger, with the temperatures displayed in the little windows. Press up or down to vary. Separate blower speeds are controlled by the switches underneath. To direct airflow to the windshield, face or footwell, select one of the buttons or press all three to divide the air distribution between them. Or press auto and the system will determine air distribution automatically. The driver and front passenger can make their own individual selections. To help prevent windows from fogging in cool damp weather, press the upward facing arrow. And air will be blown upward on both sides. The defrost button makes defrosting easy. Simply press. Next to which you find the rear window defogger and the air conditioning button. To the right is the air recirculation button. Press once to choose automatic air recirculation in which the system will recirculate filtered interior air for up to 12 minutes if an excess level of outside pollutants is detected in the environment. Or press twice to choose manual air recirculation. To avoid the possibility of fogging the windshield in damp weather, the air conditioning should be turned on if either the manual or automatic recirculation function is selected. In hot weather, press the max AC button to cool the interior as rapidly as possible. In cold weather, pressing this button blows warm air into the passenger compartment after the engine has been turned off. It helps keep the interior comfortable during short stops on winter trips. The temperature and blower speed of air to the rear compartment can be varied via the two wheel-type controls at the rear of the center console. The infrared reflecting windshield has been designed to reduce heat caused by the sun's radiation. 
There are two sections of the windshield where you can position transmitting devices. A larger area behind the rear view mirror and a smaller area near the base of the windshield. BMW provides several standard and optional features to help you cope with winter weather. Outside mirrors are heated automatically. If your car is equipped with heated front seats, you can choose between high, medium, and low temperature using the driver and passenger controls just above the cup holders. The rear seats on the 750 IL are heated with the controls located here. Controls. At BMW's Research and Development Center, engineers, ergonomic specialists, and safety experts aim to exceed the highest standards for safety, performance, and reliability. All systems, parts, and controls in your vehicle undergo extensive durability testing. This chassis has to endure hundreds of hours of torturous shaking. This axle is driving every corner and straightaway of the awesome Nürburgring racetrack at racing speeds. And these components can withstand vibration, heat and cold beyond anything you are likely to encounter in the real world. To engage the adaptive transmission control, press the release button you can feel on the forward side of the shift grip and select D. If you prefer sport mode, which shifts at higher RPMs, move the selector to four. To hold the car in first and second gear in special circumstances, such as on steep hills, select two. The little switch next to the shift lever can be moved back to M for manual shifting, or forward to A for automatic. Unlike in many automatic transmissions, manual in the BMW 7 series means you stay in your selected gear until you decide it's time to shift. If your 7 Series incorporates Steptronic transmission, you can select D for Adaptive Transmission Control, but you can also shift manually. First, move the lever into the MS area of the shift gate to select the Sport Program. The transmission will shift at higher RPMs and will only shift up as far as fourth gear. As soon as you move the lever in the plus or minus direction, you engage manual mode. Move the selector forward to shift up through all five gears, Move it back to shift down. Electronic damping control is a sophisticated system of electronically controlled shock absorbers which further enhance the remarkable balance between smooth riding comfort and handling ability. If your car is equipped with electronic damping control, press the button marked EDC to experience a more performance oriented suspension. The green light will indicate that the sport setting has been selected. Press again when you wish to return to the comfort program. The power sunroof has one-touch operation, so you don't have to take your hands off the wheel for long. Locate the overhead button. One firm push toward the rear will open the sunroof all the way. And a firm push toward the front will close the sunroof. Now, press up on the middle of the switch, and the rear of the sunroof will tilt up to enhance ventilation. Push on this button when the roof is fully open to go to the tilt position. Windows are one touch up and down. To halt the progress of a window, simply press the switch a second time. A rectangular button on the driver's door disables the rear window switches. After the car's been turned off, windows can be raised and lowered until one of the front doors is opened. This switch activates the power-operated rear window shade. Passengers can also shade themselves with the sun blinds, which can be pulled up easily and secured on each side window. BMW has mounted several key functions on the wheel to reduce the driver's need to take hands off the wheel and eyes off the road in the interests of active driving safety. To use the cellular telephone, begin by pressing the RT button with your left thumb, second from the bottom. If you need to look up the number from your one-touch memory, use the search buttons marked with arrows here and here to recall the names and numbers you've stored. Having selected the number, press the bottom button with your left thumb to begin your hands-free call. To raise or lower the volume, press the plus and minus buttons. The same buttons perform nearly the same functions for the audio system. The arrow buttons search up and down and the plus and minus buttons control the volume. This works the same for CDs if you've selected the CD changer from the menu on the console monitor and for cassettes if you've already inserted a tape.
The right side of the multifunction steering wheel is primarily devoted to cruise control. The only exception is the lowest button, which, depending on your car's equipment, operates the air recirculation or the heated steering wheel. To set the cruise control, first turn on the system by pressing the 1-0 button located here on the steering wheel. The illuminated cruise control symbol in the display will activate. To maintain your speed, tap the second button from the top, indicated with a plus sign. Each successive tap on the plus sign increases your speed by 0.6 miles per hour, and holding the switch down will increase speed steadily. The minus button can be tapped to reduce speed in 0.6 mile per hour segments, and holding the switch down decreases your speed steadily. Should you wish to interrupt the cruise control, tap the 1-0 button once. Cruise control will be interrupted automatically when you apply the brakes, shift into neutral, or your speed increases beyond the selected speed by approximately 10 miles per hour for more than 30 seconds. With your right thumb, tap the top button when you're ready to resume. To fully switch off the cruise control, press the 1-0 button until the cruise control symbol is no longer illuminated. You'll find windshield wipers on a stock on the right-hand side of the steering wheel. Push up one notch for intermittent wiping action. Or to activate the rain sensor. The rain sensor, which is mounted inside the windshield near the rear view mirror, employs an infrared LED to measure rainfall hitting the windshield. To change the intermittent wiping interval, or the sensitivity of the rain sensor, turn the wheel and stop. However, no matter which interval you select, the speed of the wipers will vary with the speed of the car. Move the stock up one more notch and you'll engage steady wiping action at a normal speed. Move up one more notch and the wiping frequency increases to fast. For just a quick swipe at the windshield, press the stock down. Hold the stock down for as long as you want wiping to continue. A tug towards you on the stock activates the washer. The selector switch for headlights and parking lights is located to the left of the instrument cluster. Your BMW Center can program the car memory so that daytime running lights will come on whenever the car is started and go off automatically when the car is switched off. The fog light switch is to the right of the instrument cluster on the dash. When the dial is turned to the right, the lights come on when the low beams are on, but please be considerate of other drivers. These are powerful and bright lights. To set the parking brake, push down with your left foot on the small pedal. To let it off, Pull the release at the left end of the dashboard. If the parking brake has not been released by the time the car reaches 2.5 miles per hour, a gong will sound. To open the cup holders in the center console, simply press in lightly and let them spring out. The rear cup holders are located in the center of the rear seat. The onboard monitor on your 7 Series integrates many important controls. Turning the round control knob moves the cursor. Moving the cursor over an item highlights the item, and pressing the knob selects the item. To establish your preferred settings, press the menu button and select Set. Use the control knob to make your selections. At day-night, select Yes if you want the screen to darken automatically when the headlights are turned on. Use Color Set to choose between three different background colors. At OBC Display, choose between Arrival and Outside Temperature for the onboard computer display. At Audio OBC, if you select On, the onboard computer functions will be displayed under the Audio window when you select the audio system. Use date to choose between two date formats and to set the date. Choose memo on if you wish to be reminded to switch to a news broadcast 15 seconds before the top of the hour. To set the time, select clock. Press set. The time will appear in the display with the minutes underlined. Turn the knob until the correct time in minutes appears, then press. Ensure the hour is correct, and press to confirm. To derive information from the onboard computer, 
Begin by pressing the menu button. Then select Onboard Computer. To calculate your distance and arrival time, select Distance. Use the control knob to input the distance to your destination. Your expected arrival time will be calculated automatically based on current driving conditions. With the range function, you can tell approximately how far the car can be driven on the fuel remaining in the tank. Either the outside temperature or your arrival time is available at a glance, depending on which setting you choose. To use the stopwatch, select Timer and Start. To stop the timer, ensure that Stop is highlighted and press again. You may also obtain an interim time with tenths of a second without interrupting the stopwatch. Select Return to Exit. To calculate your average fuel consumption, select either Consumption 1 or 2. Choose Yes to begin a new calculation or No. To calculate your average speed, select Speed. To begin a new calculation, press the knob and select Yes at the prompt. To input a speed limit warning, make sure the ignition key is turned to position 1 or 2. Select Limit and Set. Use the knob to specify the speed. Then press to activate. To turn off limit, select Limit and choose Switch Off. To enter your current speed, select Speed. You will hear a chime when you exceed this limit. By pressing inward on the turn signal stock, you may call up the onboard computer readings on the instrument cluster display. To select only a few of these functions, press and hold the stock until the remote control display appears on the monitor. Highlight and press the control knob to exclude any functions you do not wish to see on the instrument cluster display. Select Memorize and press the control knob to program the system. There's also a function to pre-ventilate the car during warm weather. After you turn off the engine, select Auxiliary Ventilation on the menu. Select Timer 1 and Set. Use the control knob to specify the time that you'd like the automatic ventilation system to switch on. Then press Set. The system will operate for 30 minutes beginning at that time. To set a second switch on time, select Timer 2 and follow the same procedure. A red fan symbol on the dash will light up. To pre-ventilate the car immediately, ensure the key is in position 1. Instead of entering a time, simply select Auxiliary Ventilation. To use the BMW onboard navigation system, select GPS Navigation from the menu. Read this warning carefully and press the knob for OK. To enter the city, select by pressing the knob. An alphanumeric display will appear. Turn the knob to spell the city, pressing after each letter you select. Once you have keyed in the city, select Enter. You may enter only part of the name. Then move the cursor to Index and select. Scroll through the index to find the name you're looking for. Press the knob. Now press the knob again and enter the name of the street. You may need to include space for certain two-part names. Then enter the number if you know it. If you make a mistake, use Delete to correct it. Press once, or press and hold to delete the entire entry. When you've keyed in the street, select Enter. Now you may specify the cross street if you wish. To do so, select Intersection and choose the correct one from the list. 
Verify that the address is correct. Ensure that directions is highlighted, then press. In a moment, directions to your destination will appear. You may specify your route type either at the beginning of the trip or partway through the journey. You will be able to choose between most use of highways, least use of highways, fastest route, and shortest route. If you do not know the exact address but could point to it on a map, turn the control knob to Information and press. Select Destination Input Map. The system will generate a map of your current location. A pull-down menu will remain up for four seconds and can be generated later by turning or pressing the knob. Select Scale on this menu and adjust the scale to include your destination. Select Cursor on the pull-down menu to pinpoint your destination. Turn the knob to adjust the horizontal axis first. Pressing to confirm. Followed by the vertical axis. Adjust the scale to one-half mile or less. Select Save Destination from the pull-down menu. Verify the destination as it appears on the Input Destination display. Press for directions. As soon as you enter a digitized road, your directions will appear. On the upper left of the display is your destination. Next to it, you'll see the number of miles to your destination, with an arrow pointing in the direction of your destination. When you're on a digitized road, the screen will show the upcoming road configuration, such as a turn or an exit ramp. Right above the graphic, you'll see the distance to your next turn. The name of the roadway you'll be turning onto will be displayed as you approach the turn. At the bottom of the screen is the name of the road you're currently on. In 600 feet, turn right. Turn right ahead. To the right is a menu. Destination input is used for changing the information you have already given the computer. If you choose instruction, you'll hear the most recent direction repeated, or you'll receive the next instruction if it's within one quarter of a mile. To see a route on a map, select Route Map. In a few moments, a map will appear. The distance to your destination and the distance to the next turn will appear in the upper right. To alter the scale, touch the knob and select Scale from the pull-down menu. Your car will appear as a blue triangle in a circle, your route as a white line, and your destination as a white target symbol. Street names will appear on maps with a scale of one-half mile or less. The top of the map is usually north. But if you choose a scale of one-half mile or less, you may position the map in the direction the car is traveling. To do this, select Map Positioning, then choose between Pointing North and Direction of Travel. While underway, if you require an alternative route, select New Route to request a new route for up to six miles. Anytime New Route turns black, it is in calculation mode. Please allow the system to calculate your new route before making any more menu choices. Once the system has finished calculating, new route will turn white. To store your current destination in the address book, go to Information, select Address Book, followed by Enter Address. Select Name, and using the alphanumeric display, spell a name up to 10 characters long. Highlight Enter and press. To include frequently used destinations in the address book, go to Information. Select Address Book, followed by Enter Address. Spell the name first. Highlight Enter and press. Then highlight the city 
and using the alphanumeric display, spell a name. Highlight Enter and press. Next, enter the street name followed by the number. When finished, be sure to turn the control knob to Enter and press in order to store the entry in the address book. To retrieve an address from the address book, select Retrieve Address. Scroll through the names and addresses you've stored. Highlight the one you want and press. Then select Directions if you wish to begin your journey. However, the BMW onboard navigation system can only provide directions to stored addresses that are available on the map CD being used. To delete one, select Delete Address. Highlight the one you wish to delete and press the knob. Press again at the prompt. Other useful features in the address book include Enter Current Car Position, Last Destinations, and Return to Starting Point. Select one and verify the address. Press for directions. To determine your current location, select Vehicle Position on the Information menu. To see your position on a map, select Street Map. For an extraordinary source of information, select Info on Current Location. Make a selection, such as BMW Center. In moments, the nearest BMW centers will appear in ascending order of distance from your current location. Select one. Now press if you'd like directions. When the scale is one half mile or less, the locations of the point of interest you select will be indicated by icons on the route map. If you need to clear the icons, select City Center. Info on Destination also provides helpful information. Choose a category and either use the alphanumeric display to spell the name or select Index to scroll through the listing. First ensure that the radio volume is at an ideal level. Then, with the radio on or off, select Volume Navigation on the Information menu. Press the control knob to activate and turn the knob to adjust the volume. Listen to the voice to find the right level. Louder. Louder. Then press to confirm. When you switch to other displays or you turn the monitor off, you will still be able to hear the instructions provided by the BMW onboard navigation system. You may turn on the monitor again by pressing the menu button or the rotary knob. Audio and Telephone. For your listening pleasure, your new 7 Series incorporates radio data broadcasting and program type identification. If the station you have selected broadcasts its call signal and program type, you can choose to have a description of the programming and the station name appear in the display. All audio systems and cellular telephones for your new 7 Series were tested in BMW's Electromagnetic Compatibility Test Chamber to ensure they function reliably in conjunction with other electronic systems. To switch on the radio, push in the radio knob. When the radio is on, press the adjacent button when you wish to switch between the onboard navigation system display and the audio system display. When the audio window has been selected, the audio settings will appear in the upper portion of the display and the indicator will be illuminated. Press either FM or AM once to access AM1 or FM1 stations. Press again to access AM Auto Store or FM2 stations. Press FM again for FM Auto Store stations. To automatically capture and store the six strongest AM and FM stations in your current area, select either AM or FM. Continue to hold the key down until Auto Store appears in the display. When the sound returns, the Auto Store function is complete. Press numbers 1 through 6 to choose a station. To automatically search for a station, press the arrow switch in either direction. Press the Select button to scroll through a further range of search functions. M allows you to search for a station manually. Press the arrow switch until you reach the station you desire. Scan allows you to sample stations. 
Press the arrow switch to begin, then press select again when you find a station that you like. A will search for stations automatically in the direction you choose with the arrow switch. To store your favorite stations, press and hold one of the numbered preset buttons until the sound returns. To activate the radio data broadcasting, press the RDS key. Now, whenever you select an RDS station, its name will be displayed automatically. If you press PTY, the program type will appear briefly. Hold down the key until you see PTY Auto if you'd like the program type to be displayed briefly every time you select an FM station. To cancel the automatic display, hold down the key until you see PTY Man. Press the Tone button to adjust the bass, treble, fader, and balance. Alter each setting using the arrow switch, then press Tone again to move to the next setting. If you prefer all settings to be in the center position, press Tone and hold until all settings have moved to the center position on the display. If you have inserted a cassette or loaded the CD magazine, press the Mode button until Tape or CD is displayed. Press the arrow switch to search and press twice in a row to fast forward or rewind. The small arrow button allows you to switch from one side of a tape to the other. Press the Dolby selector to choose between Dolby B or C. To activate the digital sound processor, turn on the radio, then press the menu button. Select DSP. If the DSP is off, press to switch on. Select Memo. Then choose one of the preset programs. Concert Hall, Jazz Club, or Cathedral to suit the music you're listening to or select memory 1, 2, or 3 to store your own personal settings. For example, highlight Memo 1 and press. Using the control knob, select and adjust one of the frequencies. Press. Turn the knob to move on to the next frequency and use the same procedure. To hear a demonstration of the digital sound processor, highlight and press Demo. The CD changer is installed in the trunk. Let's take a look at how to insert discs. Press the button on the cover to eject the magazine. Release the button on the magazine and pull out one disc tray at a time. Load the disc with the label facing up. Push the disc tray back in. When you've loaded up to six discs, insert the magazine into the changer with the arrow facing down. A selection of BMW cellular telephones is available from your BMW center, including portable models integrated into the onboard navigation system, the instrument cluster display, and the steering wheel. This model features voice recognition. Name, please where a simple command from you puts the phone in service. Office. Thank you. To activate the telephone, press the menu button and select Telephone. To dial a non-stored number, press the knob a second time. Use the knob to select the digits in the number you wish to dial, pressing after each selection to confirm. To make a correction, highlight C and press once to erase the last digit, or press and hold to erase the entire number. Once you have entered the number, select the arrow on the dial and press. To initiate the call, press the phone button next to the monitor or on the steering wheel. To access the ten most recently dialed numbers, select Number Memory and scroll through the numbers. When you've found the number, Press the knob. Then press the phone button to initiate the call. Info will display the signal strength and call duration. To look up stored telephone numbers by name, 
Go to Functions and select Directory from the pull-down menu. To access the eight most frequently dialed numbers, select Top 8. Safety First. The 7 Series incorporates BMW's unique systematic approach to safety. Fully integrated road safety technology. First has two interconnected elements. Active safety systems, which provide the responsiveness and control that only a BMW can deliver. And passive safety systems, which offer advanced protection. Your new BMW is equipped with the world's first head protection system designed to protect the head inside impact collisions. There are standard front airbags and front side airbags, as well as optional rear side airbags. An interlocking door anchoring system is designed for added structural rigidity in an extreme side impact. Active safety systems include your 7 Series nimble handling, power on demand, and massive brakes as well as electronic systems designed to react faster and more consistently than a human driver possibly could. In emergency braking situations, dynamic brake control can accelerate and reinforce the buildup of brake pressure to help minimize braking distances. If your vehicle starts to oversteer or understeer abnormally during cornering, dynamic stability control can automatically regulate engine power and may brake individual wheels to help stabilize your car. This flashing light indicates that the system has detected a potential loss of cornering grip and is working to help stabilize the car. You can turn dynamic stability control off via the DSC switch on the console, but it will be reactivated the next time you press the button or the next time the car is started. To remind you that the system is off, this light will glow steadily. If it stays on under any other circumstances, see your BMW service departments. Park distance control employs ultrasonic sensors in the front and rear bumpers to warn you of the distance between your BMW and other objects to help make parking in tight spaces easier and safer. This system automatically turns itself on when reverse gear is selected. It can also be turned on or off by pressing the console switch. All passenger safety belts are equipped with automatic locking retractors for installation of child restraint seats. To use, pull the safety belt all the way out. Engage the buckle and tighten the belt around the seat following the seat manufacturer's directions. Child restraint seats should not be installed in the front seat. Children should sit in the rear and use either a child restraint system or the safety belts. Another safety feature is the child lock on each of the rear doors. Engage this by inserting the master key into the red lockout on the door and turning outward. When help is needed, Press the menu button. Then choose Emergency. You may also access Emergency via the telephone screen. Your car's vehicle identification number and the longitude and latitude coordinates for your exact location will appear, along with your current street location if you are on a digitized road. If your car is equipped with a BMW integrated cellular telephone, select Emergency for police, fire, accident, or medical help, or assist for BMW roadside assistance. The integrated cellular phone will automatically call the BMW Emergency Call Roadside Assistance Service Center. BMW GPS navigation. Please push data button and wait for operator. Once the call is connected, data, including your current position, will be transmitted to the service center, or you may press data to transmit. After a series of audible signals, voice contact will be established to determine your safety and the type of emergency. Thank you for calling BMW GPS Mayday. My name is Kelly. Is this a fire, police, or medical emergency? General Maintenance. The manufacturing process of your new 7 Series begins in the tool shop, where over 30% of the dyes and molds are specially created by BMW to meet its high standards. The Body Shop combines craftsmanship and sophisticated robotics. Teams of robots weld simultaneously, placing 5,000 weld spots with millimeter precision. Skilled artisans assemble each highly individual vehicle to the exact specifications of the new owner or BMW center that ordered it, meaning that virtually no two cars are ever the same. Check control monitors more than 20 functions, 
low priority warnings can be extinguished by pressing the check control button, but high priority ones cannot. You can monitor your fuel consumption by watching the fuel economy indicator set into the tachometer or by accessing the average fuel consumption data in your onboard computer. The service interval indicator displays your car's maintenance needs based on your actual usage of the vehicle. Each time you start the car, the service interval indicator lights up temporarily. Service is due when the green lights have all been extinguished one by one and the yellow display lights up. The words oil service or inspection will tell you which service is required. When the red light comes on, your car is overdue for service. Remember to use only BMW high performance synthetic oil. The sticker in your engine compartment has further details. In the unlikely event that you have a flat tire, your first option is to call upon BMW roadside assistance. If you decide to change the tire yourself, we suggest you consult the owner's handbook at the scene. We'll show you now where the key items you'll need can be found. The jack is located on the right-hand side of the trunk. Lift the carpet to gain access to the full-size spare wheel located under the trunk floor. Pick up the adapter before lifting out the wheel. Depending on your car's equipment, the adapter may be required to remove the center cover on the road wheel. A lug wrench, screwdriver, and centering pin are found in the drop-down toolkit under the trunk lid. Ensure the jack fits securely into the recess of the jacking point. The battery is located inside the right side of the trunk below the jack, but there are battery terminals under the hood in case you need to jumpstart the car. To lift the hood, release the lever under the far left side of the dash, then lift the safety catch in the grill in order to raise the hood. To jumpstart your car, Locate the positive terminal under its plastic cover at the front of the engine and connect this to the helper car. Then connect the negative terminal of the helper car to the negative terminal located here on your car. Start your car and let it run. Before disconnecting the cables, turn on the headlights, blower and rear window defroster. Then disconnect the negative terminal first. Even the most well-made, reliable vehicle may someday need roadside attention. Should this happen, BMW's Roadside Assistance Program is ready to provide towing, lockout service, on-site assistance, trip interruption benefits, and even custom computerized trip routing services, 24 hours a day, anywhere in the U.S., Canada, and Puerto Rico, every day of the year. Coverage is provided for the duration of the new vehicle limited warranty and for a nominal fee, may be extended for as long as you wish. Taking delivery of a new BMW is the beginning of a long and worthwhile relationship between you and your car. BMW's philosophy of customer care is clearly demonstrated by its extensive warranty coverage. A four-year, 50,000-mile bumper-to-bumper new vehicle limited warranty and a six-year warranty with no mileage limitation against rust and corrosion perforation. Your new 7 Series is covered by the Scheduled Maintenance Program, which covers all recommended scheduled maintenance, including engine oil service and inspections 1 and 2 for the first 36 months or 36,000 miles, whichever occurs first. The BMW Full Maintenance Program covers everything in the Scheduled Maintenance Program and provides for replacement of specific wear and tear items when necessary. Your BMW Center has a wide variety of high-quality accessories to help you display your enthusiasm and derive the most pleasure from your new 7 Series. To personalize your vehicle, enhance your listening pleasure, or benefit from advanced cellular telephone technologies, visit the Accessories Department at your BMW Center.